Michael and I'm with Nina. It is Memorial Day 2020. We are uh, running limb lines and trout lines uh, if you're just joining us. So we've been doing this for several days. The last few days we haven't had a whole lot of luck. Uh, several people haven't had any luck either. Uh, even the great Catfish Day posted on Facebook today that he got skunked last night. So I'm hoping to God we catch some fish, but I changed it up a little bit. I know a lot of you were asking me to do the question game with Nina last time and I didn't do it. So, so I meant for that to die. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I decided that we're gonna ask a question for every fish, but we're also gonna ask a question for every hook that's empty, okay? And we've had, we've had a little bit of trouble with just that, so. I'm like way into my personal life. That's right, I have 25 questions ready. We have 50 hooks total. Hopefully we don't go over. But anyway, guys, wish us some luck. Hopefully this starts. tricking my eyes but I thought it was moving actually. No. Oh no. Alright, no bait. That's a good sign actually. I have a list of questions back here. Are you starting at the top and working They your are way random down, questions, okay? Uh, the first question is what was your favorite childhood toy? I had this hunk of like plastic dog poop. My dad, Plastic dog poop. My dad okay. gave it to me for Christmas. Still got it? No, I wish. Oh, one of our dogs actually over the years chewed it up. Gotcha. All right. I have a lot more better ones than that. <laughs> That's pretty good. As usual, a storm kind of nearby. It's, it's rained every day for what, two weeks, three weeks? Yeah. Empty. Uh, no, there's worms. It's still got bait. Haha, -ha, no questions. <laughs> so we put uh, skipjack, bluegill, goldfish, and some worms on, so. Getting desperate. We haven't had a whole lot of luck. Now we've got something every day. But yesterday it was a pretty close call to be a skunk. Do you have the skunk bag? Huh? Do you have the skunk bag? I have the skunk bag. Always got the skunk bag. I don't have the skunk hat though. You know the one we got in the mail? Well if we do get skunked I'll wear it next episode. Could very well be the hottest day of the year. So far. Still got worms. Still got bait, huh? My plan is backfiring. I figured the worms would at least get bit. You can ask me the questions anyway. No. If we can't follow our own rules, what could, what good are we? What good are rules? I'm gonna try. I meant to do that.
foresaw this. I woke up this morning and the first post that I saw on Facebook was Catfish Dave. And all it said was one word, skunked. And it was posted about one o'clock in the morning. My heart is with you, Dave, it really is. And yesterday we had a pretty slow one, so I was thinking it, it could happen. Because they stop biting all at once and then they start biting all at once. I bet there's worms on this hook. I bet there ain't. I bet there ain't no worms on that hook. Oh! <laughs> I gotta show it. Empty hook. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I forgot to bait that one yesterday, but that's all right. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. What was the worst job you've ever had? McDonald's. You, put, you worked at McDonald's? Yeah, for like three weeks. Three weeks? Did yeah. you get fired? No, I quit because I got a better job. Why well, was it the worst? I mean, they didn't really train me and they put me in the back drive up window on my third day by myself and they were like sink or swim. And I got cussed out a lot because, you know, I messed so you, up orders. You so. sank. I sank. <laughs> I was 17. That's all right. My first job was Taco Bell. Did you, did you eat I a lot of tacos? I kind of liked it. I mean, I liked the free lunch because I ate McNuggets every day. I was there for a year. Yeah? And then uh, I graduated high school and I was like, I'm out. I went from McDonald's to a truck stop gas station. That was actually I worked cool. at a truck stop, too. Huh? Wait. Third shift. Right on the WK Parkway. <laughs> That's dangerous. Like it's I said, guys. Open. Did you see that? Watch it. Well, that's the flood line. But look it, look it. Yeah, I did see it jerk. Watch it. Watch it. Oh. The real line's right below it. But yeah, it looks like there is a fish on it. That was for like when the water rose. Now there could be... It's moving a lot. Look, look, look. This one's got a fish on right here. No, it's the flood line. Well, then why is it moving? It's working. What I mean is it's it's the flood line. They're the same line. Oh. It's in case the water came up, I can still get to I it. I was so confused. Well, we definitely got a fish, y'all. Yes. And I, no matter if the bait is still on the hook with that fish, it counts as a caught, as a question, too, by the way. Oh, there he is. First hook? Uh, yeah, he's kind of small. <laughs> That's all right. I almost passed right by him. We don't have to get the skunk bag. We can get him over the rim there. Oh, you know I'll get him the boat. Splash the face. That's all right. I got it on camera, I think. I thought you were about to turn around and say he got off. But <laughs> All right. Channel cat. All right. That was, don't do that. Don't do most, that at home, guys. I'm going to get this off while you think of the most embarrassing moment in high school that you can think of. Oh, I already know. What'd you get? I uh, I was that kid who like wore a skirt and would like tip back on my chair. And one day I actually did fall all the way back. My legs were just, you know. It's a big channel. Yeah, he's nice. So you fell backwards in any class? Well, yeah, but like I couldn't get, I couldn't get my legs back down. So I was just kind of stuck that way for a minute. All right, so, uh, you know, I saw a kid fall out of a seat one time and nobody laughed. And nobody I felt laughed? bad. Hold on, stop. It's going to be a little slower than normal because of that hook. Yeah. Oh, we got to bait it? No, 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 no. Question. Oh, the question, question. Sorry. But but what I was saying is, if I fell out of my seat, everybody would have laughed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but because this kid was overweight, they, to me it was like it was embarrassing that no one laughed. I'm like, come on, guys. Treat him normal. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> laugh, laugh at him. Laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there's another hook. What's your? What's a weird pet peeve that you have? Uh, I don't know. I never really thought about it. I'm pretty mellow. I'm pretty laid back. Like I'm really easy to get along with and easy to live with. Um, you don't have anything that annoys you that are. I really hate wearing a seatbelt. I know that's bad, but like I really don't like it. Yes. It's just aggravating. So when you get in my car, it's a pet peeve. It is. I... It kind of annoys me because it beeps at me constantly, and it's like seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Because I've I've actually been pulled over so many times for my passengers not having a seatbelt. I'm just gonna ask as those hooks come. Yeah, I was gonna say I've got another one. Yeah, it looks good. They're empty. I like that. Uh, what's your favorite book? A favorite book? A Land Remembered. A Land Remembered. Do you but remember the author? I think Patrick D. Smith. Patrick D. Patrick Smith. Patrick D. something. That's I want to cool. say Smith. What's it about? It's about, uh, it covers three generations of like early pioneer settlers in South Florida and they start uh, rounding up wild cattle and like shipping them to Ponderasa and it's 
It's a lot of adventure and like covered wagon type type stuff. Cool. All right, and I'm gonna ask these as the hooks come in because I can see them. Empty hook. And what is the secret talent that you might have? I can make myself sneeze on command, but I have to tickle the inside of my nose a little bit. Uh huh. And she's also an artist. Oh, that's not a secret though. No, that's not a secret. All right. There. What is an unusual fear that you have? Man, there's no bait on this line. I'm terrified of lobsters. Oh, that's right. She, you know, we, we use crawdads or uh, crawfish, some people call them. And they're too close to lobsters for Nina. She ain't, she ain't having it. I'll go elbow deep in a carcass, but I will not mess with a crawdad. Yeah. Do you have any weird family traditions? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, like, every Thanksgiving we eat Chinese food. I mean, we have a turkey too, but like on Thanksgiving we, we always order it for Chinese. That's a cool. That's actually a perfect answer. Man, there ain't no bait on these hooks. No. The guards might come out. Keep firing. All right. What's the what is the creep? What is the common creepy things that guys guys do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just read the comments. Yeah. Well, like what? What is the common pickup line? People don't really do pickup lines anymore. They just send photos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Creepy things that guys do is send pictures of their unsolicited bleep bleep. Yeah. What's your favorite actor or actress? I don't really have one to be honest. You gotta have one. I mean, I don't have like one though. It's like picking one band to listen to for the rest of your life. You can't do it. What is a actor that you like? Who is an actor that I like? Um, Anthony Hopkins. I love Anthony. Oh my god. Just the voice. He kind of scares me. Like, I feel like if he was my grandfather, I would have cried a lot as a kid growing <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, let's see. One question. Ever kissed a girl? Yes. I think I remember when I first met Nina, she told me about making out with a girl in I a did bar. Make, I did make out with a girl <laughs> once. She was my best friend at the time, and we had had some drinks. That's right. All right, let's keep rolling. Try to get out of the sun here. I'm burning. Take All right. Over here is somewhat of a hot zone, but... I've been looking at the line, I can't tell. It's got the leaves on it. Got a hook. You got bait? Nope. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what is the meaning of your name, or how did you get your name? Nina or Marina? Just tell people about that aspect. Oh, uh, well, Marina is my real name, but uh, like I couldn't say Marina when I was a kid. I said Manina. And Nina just kind of, that's how I introduced myself because I didn't know any better. So her real name is Marina and she goes by Nina, guys. I kind of like Marina though. You know, I like it more than now that I've gotten older, but like when I was a kid, I only ever heard it when I was in trouble, so. Gotcha. All right, I've got bait on this one. Oh, no. I think I'm going to run out of questions if the other line has got. Empty hook. hook. Alright, let's see, uh, what's your favorite Disney movie? Cartoon, at least. Can I say all of them? No, you gotta have one. Oh, probably oh. Lion King. It's a great movie. I've been humming the theme song, like, up here in the front while we're boating down Did the you, river. Have you, you seen the remake? Uh, not yet, no. I thought it was pretty good. I don't think we got anything. Let's just count them up and drop it. I got an empty hook here. Actually, no, go to the end, because I'm gonna, we're gonna bite this off camera real quick. Uh, let's see, what are you passionate about? Art. Art. Outdoor stuff. What is a... Da, 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 da. What is a skill that you would like to master that you haven't? Noodling, actually. Yes, we've been trying to get into noodling, guys. It's it's hard to find contacts here in western Kentucky and near Bowling Green. I mean, we would travel probably up to 100 miles, maybe even farther if it was worth it. I would personally travel further um, to have something like that on my channel. I'm just like, there's gonna be a little bit of a vetting process. Like, I hate to be that person, but you kind of have to like prove that, you know, you've got some decent areas that produce fish. Um, yeah. If you've been once like years ago, it probably won't work out. But you know, if you go all the time um, and you wouldn't mind showing a first timer who's enthusiastic as all hell. Yeah, we wanna, or I actually really would like Link Nina Wren to do the, the uh, noodling. I don't know that I could pull it off. God, I'd love it. You know, if you notice, our channel is dedicated to this part of the river. A lot of that is because of my work schedule and my home life. It's, I own the lot, my boat stays docked, and it's easy in and out. And road trips I can't always do. And, uh, you know, I, I think Nina 
if you want to contact Nina, at least if you're watching this video, hooklinegeo at gmail.com and, and I'll pass on the information. You can also get me at renegade2.0 on Instagram. And this is another line from one side to the other, 20 hooks. This one's a lot looser than the other one, but I'm not gonna... head, you can see it heads straight that way down river. Yeah, when I put it out, it uh, got tight. But I also have this thing about adjusting the line when it's not hanging up. I feel like you know, I wanted to make a video every day this weekend. So. My luck, if I got out there and I tried to tighten it, it would hang up. Empty hook. All right, let me get my questions back out. <laughs> choo -choo -choo -choo. I know one thing. What is your least favorite thing about being on hook, line, and chill? We're turning the wrong way. Usually when you forget to turn the propeller and the boat goes like into the line. Yeah. Describe one of your tattoos and what the meaning is. Um, the obvious one's probably this one. Hold on, let me zoom in on it. There is a bear claw. I assume that's what that is. My family is Bear Clan Potawatomi. And you got that. I started getting it when I was 15, but it got a little messed up. So a majority of the tattoo that's there now is actually a cover up for the original, which was the same thing but smaller. So it's. It is a Native American thing. Heritage thing. Thing magic. That's your question. Got another one. Okay, we're we're gonna run out. Okay, uh, what? Who did you? What did you want to be when you were young? A vet. A veterinarian. Yeah. Cool. I wanted to be an astronaut and an actor. All right. From here on, I'm just gonna come up with them off the top of my head. Hopefully we got another fish. Come on now. You got one? You got a, got a question? We know your favorite color is purple. But what is your favorite color clothing? I have a lot of gray stuff. I know that sounds really boring, but it goes with everything. I'm a gray person. Gray. Anything that... It doesn't matter. Anything that matches, like, all my clothes. There's no like, will this shirt go with these pants? Yeah, no, I don't have that problem either. I won't buy it if it don't. <laughs> exactly, yeah, like my entire wardrobe is interchangeable and it's also very simple, like, I own nothing but like t-shirts, tank tops, and I have jeans that I've cut into shorts and then these things. What is that thing? It's called a sarong. A sarong. Yes, last year Nina had one a different color. Jumped in, fell in the river. Have, Let's just go ahead and say she jumped in. I have like six of them hanging on my bedroom wall and so I can just like look at them and be like, hmm. I actually had on a different one today, but the blue goes better with the gray shorts. Gotcha. See? Gray. Alright. I don't know that we caught any. No fishes. Alright. Empty hook. Empty hook. We got several questions. I'm gonna have to get my phone out. Hold on, I got some more ready. We got like five or six. If you could date a Disney character. A Disney character? If you had to date one and marry them and have relations with them which one would it be genie genie i think that speaks for itself oh i was, I was thinking the girl genie that sounds cooler <laughs> i get it now robin williams genie all right we got let's say we got three more all right let's see here i have something saved i know i do if people could read your mind, what is something you commonly think? I wish me and Nick Jamerson were best friends. Mm -hmm. What are you most afraid of? Oh, I've already asked that. Uh, what is the weirdest nickname people call you? Neeners. I call you Neen. 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 I mean, Neen, yeah. Like, I don't know. I think everybody kind of has a need to, like, make a play on your name. Um, Nina's no. already a nickname for Marina, but... I mean, so many people call me cool. No, nobody does. 
my cool horn. Some people call me the space cowboy. Uh, yeah. I want to be called the wizard. Yeah. Because that's what people call me. I'll call you the wizard. The wonderful wizard. You want to be the wonderful wizard? <laughs> All right. Well, do you have a favorite joke that you like to tell? <laughs> uh, nothing I can say on camera. Let's do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. This is toward the end of the video, so. Uh, so this couple goes on their 50th wedding anniversary, right? And they go back to the very same like mountain cabin that they shared for their honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs>